a wildfire could strike at any time, as we've seen here. But when Santa Ana winds kick up, San Diego County becomes particularly vulnerable, as we learned back in 2003. In this morning's Zevely Zone, Jeff revisits the Cedar Fire as we approach the 20th anniversary of a firestorm that changed the way fires are fought now here in Southern California. The Cedar Fire was first reported at 537 PM on October 25th, 2003. And by the next morning, thousands of Scripps Ranch residents had been evacuated from their homes while something precious to me was heading right here. Barbara, Lee and Dan, it's a raging inferno right now. I'm going to have Scott go off of me so you can see exactly what's going on. We've got the garage fully engulfed. In 2003, when a firestorm struck Scripps Ranch. Fire on both sides of the road. My wife, Heather Lucas, and photojournalist Scott Hall. So I think we're going to step back, actually. Scott wants to step back. We're dangerously close to the flames and at one point had to run for safety. That was scary. I think we took cover behind cars behind cars. There were walls of fire that day coming over the hills from Ramona, leaving the sky an eerie orange with smoke and ash so thick you could barely see the sun. It was daytime, but it felt like nighttime. Thousands of residents in evacuation centers depended on our coverage that day, which showed detailed maps of where the fire was heading next. Our Heather Lucas joins us with the latest on the situation. Heather, are you in the same spot you were before? Describe to us what's going on. We sure are, Barbara Lee. We're actually on Cimillon Road. While Heather was in front of the camera reporting live, producer Maybe David Godfredson. There's some parts of this neighborhood that are only accessible by foot because there's hoses all over the place. Walked the neighborhood, writing down the addresses of confirmed homes on fire. I'm going to give you a list of all the homes, if you can bear with me, on Birch Bluff Avenue that are destroyed. 10607, 10611, 10606. At that point in my career, I had covered a lot of wildfires, but I had never seen a reporter, producer, and photojournalist go street by street, writing down specific addresses to homes and then broadcasting that out. If you take a look down Fairbrook here, Fairbrook Place, this is just something you'd probably see in a movie. Uh, that's the only way to describe it. It's just complete devastation. Houses were on fire, streets were closed, everybody's evacuated, but the police are letting in the people who need medication. Scary coming back? Yeah, it's really scary to see all your neighbor's houses burning down. Very scary. How do you deal with it? What do you, what do you do? You just have to rely on your family and friends at this point. Firefighters are doing all that they can. At the time in 2003, the Cedar Fire grew to be the largest wildfire in California history, destroying nearly 3,000 structures. You and I drove to work together that day. You were sent to the front lines. I was sent off to cover the effect of the fire on the roadways. So why don't we take a look at the I-15 again? And as I listened to where you were, I was very concerned for both of you. Heather Lucas has been on the scene all day in Scripps Ranch, and she brings us the latest from where she is there. Heather? That day, we went street by street, um, trying to stay out of harm's way. We're again on Kings Pine Road. At one point, our crew tried to save a stranded dog. I did see a little pug, uh, a dog actually, standing right in the middle of a couple burned out homes. I remember the dog. I remember the pug. But it's so sad. I do not remember if we were able to get the dog into a car. We have one confirmed fatality to 14 tell you civilians and one firefighter died in the Cedar Fire. Oh, Graham and Barbara Lee, we've moved over. We're now along Fairbrook Road. Our live coverage continued into the night. That day, watching the firefighters, watching them risk their lives, something clicked in me. And I thought, I want to be part of that community. Heather changed careers and went to nursing school to become a registered nurse at Kaiser Permanente, hoping to be part of the solution for San Diegans should disaster strike again. I'm so happy to look around and see all of these beautiful homes, the beautiful canyon areas. It's just amazing to think how far this community has come. In the Zevely Zone, Jeff Zevely, CBS 8.